Hey guys, it's Tribe back again. On today's video, we're going to be developing a farm for Skeleton Spawner uh, to help you early game with getting some XP for enchanting while also providing supplies such as bones for bone meal and arrows. Okay, so this is going to be done in a few stages. First, we're going to be working on the spawning chamber and then we're going to be doing the lift and the drop shoots followed by the kill chamber and collection system and then finishing up with the redstone that's involved uh, to making this thing work effectively. Okay, so I'm going to do my best to uh, keep this moving along while explaining it clearly. I've already tried this video <laughs> a few times. This is uh, kind of a pain, um, but I'll do the best I can. Okay, so to start off, you've already found your skeleton spawner. You're going to need to clear out the room so that it's three blocks below the skeleton spawner is clear, two blocks above. We're going to go ahead and leave those there, and four blocks on all four sides. And this is going to be your spawning room. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do our water dispensing area. So on one side, two blocks above the floor, we're going to dig in three, so like this. Now, on some of these, uh, farms you'll find that some people leave the uh, water on the bottom of the room but I prefer to have the water uh, dispensed after a period of time to maximize the spawning opportunities by not having water on the floor all the time just like this so all of them should have water Perfect. Okay, so on the opposite side, we're going to dig a trench. One deep, two, three, like that. Okay, and on the center, we're going to dig uh, three high, just like that. One, two, three, three deep. I said three deep, Trav. Okay, just like that. Let me grab a couple things we're going to need here to make this easier. Yeah, let's go with that for now. Okay, so now what I like to do is place lights on four sides so we can remotely light this chamber up later. Uh, and this last one, let's have it off center just a little bit, just like that. So we can later light this chamber up to prevent the spawning. And we can knock these off now, actually. Those ones below are going to be washed away with water, so they're not a big deal. Okay, so let's do this. On the middle, we're going to knock that block out, put a spruce fence. Bam. On there, we're going to put soul sand. Okay? We're going to have two signs right here and right here to keep this water from coming backwards. Just like that. All right? And on both sides of the trenches, we're going to do a source block of water. Typically, in survival, you're going to... Go ahead and make yourself an infinity pool here that you could use as a water source. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start our... Gosh, well, that makes that easy. We're going to start our um, our vertical uh, our lift, okay? So this needs to go up 22 blocks from here, okay? So... And then, we'll, and as you're doing this in survival, you're going to do with the waters and the signs at the same time to make this a little bit easier. Is what I prefer to do. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 17, 18, 19, 20. That'll be our last sign. Then up to, let's go ahead and put a torch up here for now so we can see. Now, I'm going to double check this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, we're a little higher than I want to be. Okay, perfect. So at the top, 
All right, this, it's going to be too high, and we're going to dig the opposite direction, and this is going to be seven long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's going to be our drop shooter down there. Okay, so let's put a sign here to stop the water as it carries across. And now we're going to need some sticky pistons. Let's go to our building block. All right, so as they... Once we finish this water elevator, um, they're going to be they're going to rise up this water elevator, and they tend to get stuck here at the top. Okay, you can't get away with a one wide elevator without having a piston pushing at the bottom, and I find it easier just to have the pistons pushing at the top. Okay, so to make this work, what we're going to do is we're going to knock this block out and put a sticky piston. Um, no, we're going to go back to sticky piston block on top of that block sticky piston another block so as they get pu pushed up those are going to be on a clock and it's going to push them over and they're going to land in the water okay so let's finish our water elevator All right, so what I like to do here to make this work well is instead of going all the way up for now, let's go ahead and put down an oak sign and then drop a source block right here. And that's going to carry the water all the way across. It's going to give you this little piece right here, but don't worry about that. So now we can get rid of that and place the source block right there. Okay, so let's test this. So they get flushed to the trench. They get picked up. See how we're straddling halfway on. Now the pistons are going to push us over. The pistons will push us over to here, and then we fall down to the kill chamber. Okay? And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Okay, so now for this uh, kill chamber, we're going to dig down 23 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, now let's make some room here. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need, we need this. On the bottom, we're going to put a funnel. That's what I call them, hoppers. Okay, then we can get rid of some of these blocks on the side. Let's put a little torch over here so we can see. We want this block back. Okay, so we're going to clear some room. Now, this is where we're going to be standing. Alright, and then we're going to be smashing. I like to clear the blocks in the back. We're going to be hitting all this with their sword. Okay, and they're going to be falling down to here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be clearing a decent amount of room here um, as we work here. Okay, so we're going to keep this block here. Um, we are going to have our, let me think here. All right, so we're going to dig down and then we're going to put our, uh, boxes in. Okay. I'll get it figured out, guys. Don't you worry. All right, so the first thing I need to do is actually, um, mm, let's see. One, two, three, four. Let's get some lights in here so we can see. Okay, so from our standing platform, we're going to come around the corner. We're going to dig down four like this. And let's do, let's create a little bit of room here. Uh, now I should be able to go in one more without hitting the thing. Yeah. Okay, so just like that. Down four, over four. We're going to set up our chest. This will be our little collection room, which we'll dig out and make it a little bit better here in a second. Okay, so what we're going to do, uh, 
is. Let's send the parts over. So we're going to get rid of that for now. And right there. Okay. So we'll just put this back and this one back on the top. Perfect. So they fall down there and all the parts are going to go around this corner and down into our parts. Perfect. Okay, and to make this easier to get down here, now let's go ahead and get some stairs. Uh, here, a little bit of room. Let's do, yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, cool. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and clear out a lot of room. Um, and then I'm going to cut back to here. I'm going to start from this base floor and I'm going to go up um, to, we're going to leave this, this in, but we can dig out all of this. Okay, so from our where we walk out, we're going to go down four, and then we'll, we'll probably go up seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to go ahead and go out eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to pretty much clear out all of this. And I'm going to go left as far as I can until I start hitting the uh, uh, the farm, the spawn room, which should be right there. Okay, so I can go as far as this. And then, how far this way can I go? I can go to there. So anyway, I'm going to clear out a huge area here, okay, um, so that we can work on getting our redstone clocks in place. So I'll come back to when I'm ready. Okay, guys, we're back, and I'll walk you around what I've done so far. I've cleared out a bunch of room. As you can see, I've gone all the way up to the wall of our chamber here, okay? And this is the other edge of the chamber. So I open this up, you can see inside, there's a spawning chamber. And I've just cleared a large room here that we can kind of work with. Um, gives us plenty of room to build, plenty of room to do whatever we need to do. Okay, and I'm going to show you the rest of it. And you're going to want a walkway um, all the way to your lamp, so all the way around. Let's light all this up, make sure nothing can spawn around here. You're going to need a walkway all the way around to all of our lamps. So this goes all the way around. I've exposed the top of those dispensers. So we've got the lamps here, we've got the lamp here, and all the way around we've got the lamp there. Okay, and that's our water elevator. So I've cleared all this out just to give me plenty of room later once we come in and we put the clocks in uh, and we hook all the electronics up. We've got all this room to work with. Now over in this corner, okay, so one away from the corner here, I've got a ladder and I dug all the way up, put a couple of torches in, and this is following our um, water elevator. Okay, but this goes all the way to the top and exposes the two pistons at the top. Okay, so I got this in. All right, so now let's go ahead and get started on our clock. So it's all going to begin from here. We're going to have a switch. All right, and that's going to turn on and off the clocks. So we need to pull the power out of this block. So we're going to have a repeater here. Okay? And that repeater is going to feed a block right there. Um, and that's going to be a torch. And then we're going to go over one, two, three, four, and up. There's going to be dust, 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 and dust. All right, perfect. Uh, and then this is going to take a turn and it's going to have a repeater and that's going to feed a 
example, uh, a block rate here. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to turn two clocks on with this. All right. The first one is going to be over here. We're going to run one clock that's going to push those pistons at the top over uh, regularly, pr pretty fast. Okay, then we're going to have another clock go this way that's going to turn on our water dispensers at a much slower rate. So it's going to be a much uh, longer delay in the clock. Okay, so the way I like to do mine is I need a monostable circuit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that torch come up to this block here. And what this is going to do is, oh, i got to move this here. Move that up. Let's create a little more headroom here. And we're going to need a couple pistons. Okay, so one is going to come up like that, and one's going to come out like this. That one's going to have a block on it, this is going to have a block on it like that. And um, we need a block here. Uh, no, we need a block here. And that's going to have a, uh, a repeater, and that's going to start this clock. So... That's basically the way it looks. And then we need one more block here. Let's go ahead and put these on full four tick delay. Um, yeah, just like that will work. So let's test it, make sure that works. Off, on. There we go. So we've got a clock. Let's make more headroom if needed. I think you guys get the point though. Good enough. All right, perfect. So this clock is going to go up a block tower. So let's put a torch here. Perfect. And then let's start running a tower up. all the way to the top. Did I skip one? No, I'm fine. Okay, that'll work. All right, and then, so that's going to energize this block. And now let's bring the power over. Uh, and let's do, I guess we could do this. We could do that. That turns on that. So we've got a clock coming up here, and we've got those two pistons over that are going to be pushing the skeleton uh, across and down to down drop shoot. All the way down we go. Okay, so now we need to get this other clock going to run all the way down the side. Um, to run the two or to run the nine uh, water dispensers. Okay, so to do this one, we're going to start with the same deal. We're going to have a redstone dust there. Uh, and we're going to get our pistons in. So one here. And one here. Lock on each. block right there. So we're going to send the pulse into this clock. And then we need one block here. Actually, no, this 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 is going to work a little bit different. Uh, you'll see. You'll see. What we're going to do is we're going to... Here, we need a little bit more headroom. 
Um, we're going to get rid of this and this for now. All right, so the signal is going to come through here, through that, right there, into this block, and then we're going to have it go down and uh, all the way to these guys. All right. So to get this to work, we need to pull the energy out of that block that's being charged. And let's go ahead and bring it down like this. And let's run just a bunch of repeaters to create the delay we need. Right to the end, repeater pull on the pulse. And we'll put a strip of dust on top of all these. Okay, so there's our basic pulse going to those, but now what we need to do is we need to bring that pulse back so it's a clock. So we're going to do this. Okay, so we need to get the energy to here. Oops. So to do that, how about we do... We'll just do that. Okay, so this should work. Let's test it. We're going to do full delay on all these. And you could do a hopper clock if you want, but we're going to keep this as simple as possible. And just run a line of repeaters. Try not to get into too much uh, redstone engineering in this video. Even though, I can, as you can tell, it's kind of complicated as is. Uh, but we'll manage. Okay, so let's see if that works. Off. On. And there goes the pulse. Oh, and I heard the dispensers. I can hear the water. Okay, let's take a look. Perfect. Great, it's working. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the lighting. Okay, guys, so now that we've got all the clocks in that's going to be running our pistons up at the top and our water, let's go ahead and get our lighting done so we can turn this thing on and off remotely. So along the level of these lights, we're going to place a row of blocks. And here we're going to have to go up and over this stuff. And we'll work our way backwards. We're going to have a line of blocks. All the way along the level of our lights. A little more room here. Perfect. We go up one higher on the corners for the repeaters. If I actually did the corner, there we go. And we need to energize this block here, so it actually needs to come down. This needs to be a repeater feeding that. Okay, so let's get this wired in. Dust, dust, repeater pulling the power out of the block. Uh, dust. Repeater pulling the energy out of the block. Here, repeater. Okay, here we need to climb up. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a switch down there coming up to here. Uh, so let's do, let's figure this out. Let's do that. Let's move this 
here. And I think what we can do is that. Okay, so that should have turned on all the lights. Let's take a look. There's all those. And there's that one. Perfect. All the lights are on. Okay, so we know that's working. So let's go ahead and get the switch in. Alright, are the lights on? Let's find out. Nope, no electricity. Okay, so we know the lights are on when that's off. Perfect. And it's not affecting our clocks at all. Alright, so that'll work. So now we have, we got this thing pretty much done. When we, when we come in... This is everything's. This is how we leave it, and then when we come in to turn it on during the day, we can uh, turn the lights off. Red means this thing's hot, and ready to work, and then we turn this on, and that's going to allow them to spawn in. Okay, so everything's working. The last couple things I'd like to add. Uh, let's see here. I like to throw. A little crafting table, uh, grindstone, and a bed, and then you could even do a lava bucket, and you could put this stuff in here however you want. Um, and that's just to break down some of the enchanted stuff here. We have a bed, and then we could put a trash can in here for throwing the unenchanted bows and junk in. Okay, and then we can we can dig then through here, and then have you know a way up and down. To our room um, so that we could use it so that's pretty much the build let's go to the survival world and take a look at the one I have and you can see how I've adjusted it okay guys so here we are in my survival world and my skeleton spawner so let's go in I just have a water elevator coming up to leave and a hole to water all the way at the bottom to get in I got a trash can here here's a bed I got a little dump chest for storage. There's my crafting area. Grindstone. There's all my storage boxes. There's my lights on and off. Okay, all built the same here. Oh, hi guys. Just like that. And then you can see all my redstone is up here. Okay, running my clock all the way down to turn on and off my water and my torch tower going all the way up to run my... Uh, Run my pistons at the top, so just as you saw. Okay, so let's take a look. So to turn this baby on, this we got to turn the lights off, just like that. Now you can start hearing them spawn in. Just gonna take a little while at first. No, we shouldn't have died right away, but sometimes that happens. Uh, they're gonna fall enough so they're one hit. Okay, and as this thing gets going, as it gets turning out, it's gonna start producing pretty well. You'll be able to get your first 30 levels pretty quick. Half hour, maybe an hour, it's a long time since that's bad here. But uh, after a while, it starts kicking out XP. Um, just make sure, before you start using this, that you and your buddies go around um, with torches and uh, light up all dungeons, all you know, the, the, the surface, everything, like if I'm going to stand here, everything within 128 blocks all the way around me needs to be completely lit. And the better I light everything, the better this thing's going to produce. It's going to allow them to, that's the only spawning areas they're going to have. So make sure you go around and uh, light up everything. Okay, and this thing's just going to start producing XP for you. All the materials are all going to go down into these chests um, and start filling up those chests. Okay, so I like to just go AFK here and uh, just let this go for a while. Start building my XP. Early game, it's about as good as we can get on console. So uh, take advantage of it. Good luck with the build, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know uh, what you would like to see in the future. Uh, just leave a comment below and I will certainly work on it. Um, but yeah, decent XP. You get good resources that you could use. All the gold and special armor you could break down uh, for the supplies and it's a pretty good little XP farm so once again oh and, and when you shut it off for the day just flip these two levers 
and then you know it'll take a little while for them to stop spawning and it'll be you'll be done okay um, once again this is Trav hope you enjoyed the video if you do please leave a like um, and subscribe for future PlayStation Minecraft content uh, enjoy the weekend <laughs>